J.J. Reddick to Trajan Langdon. Do any of those comparisons make sense to you? Like, do you see yourself in any of those ex-Duke guys? Uh, I joke with, uh, I, I joke all the time about the J.J. one. I don't think J.J. jumps 40 inches. Uh, <laughs> so I think there's a little bit of a difference there. But um, watching J.J. play this year, I watched him a lot with the Sixers. Uh, he is constantly in motion, constantly running, constantly ready to shoot, get that shot off. He can shoot off the move. He's moving off a guy's drives. He's putting the ball on the floor. Uh, a lot of those things are, are what I like to do as a shooter and as uh, someone who plays off the ball. I want to be in constant motion. I want to constantly be ready to shoot. Uh, so from that aspect, I think they're fair, definitely. You mentioned that um, the spacing in the NBA could be good for you. A guy like Donovan Mitchell, who wasn't a huge scorer in college, he said a lot of the same things. You come to the pros, a lot of spacing. Could you see yourself having, I mean, not the Don Mitch type of yeah. impact, but that's a great one, but, but like the spacing being good for you in the same way it was good for him? I think so. I mean, if you, uh, if you look, at, look at this year, the team that we had, our strength was two big guys that could really score on the block, and they were, they were in at the same time. Our two subs off the bench were big guys, and so that were scorers on the block, scorers at the rim. Uh, and so in the NBA game, you know, you don't see that as much. You see a lot of teams that have four guys around the perimeter, sometimes even five guys around the perimeter. Um, you know, the bigs are making plays outside. Wendell and Marvin can make a lot of plays outside, but their strength is inside. Uh, so I think all those opportunities I'll be able to have, I'll be able to get to the rim more, uh, get fouled more, um, you know, show, off, show my athleticism a little bit and then being able to attack and finish at the rim too. And I think all those things help. All those things help with the game that, that I have. Um, and what I'll be able to show at the next level. Do you have a relationship with JJ? What would you say? Do you have a relationship with JJ? Yeah, I do. I talked to him throughout my four-year career. Uh, he came back to Duke uh, many times. I got to talk to him, and I talked to him specifically about the transition into the NBA after my junior year and after this year, and um, you know, he's been great, you know, giving me a little bits of advice here and there. I know you mentioned watching him on the Sixers. Have you paid much attention to that team over the course of the year? Of course, yeah. They've, they're, they've improved so much. Uh, they're extremely fun to watch. Um, you know, Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid are, are great players, great, great young talents that are just skyrocketing. I mean, their, their potential is just going up and up and up, and they're a very fun team to watch. Have you spoken to them here? No, I have not.